Hey, dumpster. What you got up in her? Oh, that's better. I see some scrap. Right. Hooray for scrap, y'all. Let's go this way. All right. A little bit up in here. But somebody took apart a some sort of desk or stand or something. Uh, like an A-frame something or another. I mean that's like a display. Yeah, there's like rats and, or the like little arms and such. That one there. Oh my gosh, that dust is. <laughs> That's a little much. All right, y'all. Got this this little guy right here. Oh, do y'all see it? It's sitting right there on top. There's a camera. Gosh, it's sitting in the water though. Let's see what we can do here. All right. Oh, don't go in. Don't go in. Don't go in. Oh, we're not going in. Oh, it's just the housing. Boo, boo. There's a motor belt. Right. Sorry, Daddy. I mean, Sunday. Get all the ladies in my life mixed up. All right. There, let's see. What that is? Audio authority. Oh, just pieces of scrap. Nothing too hot. Nothing too hot for Mike to handle. That's like a vacuum motor, I think. Shoot! It's great. Old people riding on bicycles and stuff. Oh! Correct. Yeah. Old people. What you got here? Is it guard boxes? Nicaragua. That's a nice box. Any cigars? Cigar boxes are awesome because they definitely bring resale or have resale value, I should say. Some of these are pretty broken up, though. Take the ones that are good. It's the older ones, I think, that are the more sought after, though. Come here, you piece of plastic. Oh. Yeah. Still cool. Or like the, uh, the Cubans or whatever. What do we got here? Look at that. There's boxes full of stuff. And more boxes full of stuff. Is that a dirty movie? It sure is. From award-winning director Michael Zinn, Cinesex double feature. What? Hold up. We're about to, about to, about to get crazy up in here. Oh no. No. Hold on, okay. The whole box, bottom came out. Yeah, it's full of chargers and stuff. Tell you what, <laughs> rolling thunder. Oh, it's unopened. All right, we'll go get the dots there. We'll come back. We'll just back her up and fill this sucker up. What? 
Is that an iPhone charger? Old school iPhone chargers. Yeah, these are like... Golly, look how old that is. It's for a Nokia 8600. <laughs> okay, let's go get the truck. Supra! What do we have going on here? What? Look like a uh, transformer ate a bunch of uh, old floppy disks. Decided to defecate in this here dumpster, y'all. Shaking my head. We got a dumpster back here hiding behind this here fence, y'all. We got anything hiding in this here dumpster? I don't know what that is. Let's take a look. What that is? Looks like a piece of scrap. That's trash. That's a piece of a car. That's all aluminum looks like right there. Is that like the computer to a car? Is that the brain? The brawn and the brains? Oh, I said that. It's, it's pretty nae back here, y'all. Oh, there's a head unit hiding over there. He was hiding right under my nose. If it were a snake, it would have bit me. <laughs> yeah, this is that one I found. I've been finding car parts in. Let's see. This one goes to It's an older one. <sighs> Serious. Yeah, MP3. Old school. Kia. It contains mercury. Do not put in trash. Recycle or dispose of hazard or dispose as hazardous waste. Do not put it in trash. Recycle. I could probably recycle that. It got mercury in it though. I don't know. We'll take a closer look at it. We'll see. I don't want to mess with no mercury. Why are they putting mercury up in head units and stuff though? Oh, there's another one. We got stuff hiding down here. Oh. Is that the same story? Nope, that's another old school one though. Chrysler. It says in invisible laser radiation when open. Golly, when did head units get so like disgusting? Whew, like really disgusting. What's that we got? What's that? You got a little scrim? A little scrimpy scrim? All right, let's get it. Turn on my light for y'all so we can see some stuff. Oh, this is the dumpster hook with the leg method. Use your legs or your hook over the side at your waist with your legs. Got some casters on it. But, uh, oh, get my stick. All right. Yeah, it looks cheap and, you know, recyclable and stuff. Okay. Put that lid back on so people like, like us. I like you. Here we are, guys. Back at the fun dumpster. Alright, we are going to grab our stuff here, all these cords, start throwing everything back here, cords, charge cords, looks like a, a wheel, hey, alright, let's see here, hey, there was a bunch of crab down in here, Get her all though. Oh yeah, let's get some light. 
Is that better, y'all? I wonder if these are like all returns or something. That's all right, I'll take the wires. I'll take the charging cords. There's a, a phone pocket wallet, Medelio. Some more cords. Let me see here, there was a box back here. It looked like it was full of crap. Let's see if we can just grab it. Too bad there's no stogies. Ooh, look at that. Strawberry daiquiri electric hookah. Look at that. Victim of love. Man. It's a victim of love. All right, yeah, this box right here. Is, oh my gosh, dude, dude. Let's see if we can get it out without the bar, bottom falling out like that last one did. Okay, it's kind of We'll go through all these chargers. I don't leave any news, guys. All right. Get up here. It's like electronic cigarettes in there, too. <sighs> Should be throwing all that in the trash, man. You never know who's gonna come along. The Love Guru. Beach bum fights. Oh my god. I must be behind a, uh, be behind a, yeah. Uh, Place that had a bunch of extra stuff from an old, like, quickie, quickie mart. Oh. Car charger, car charger, car charger. Something. Oh. Uh oh. What is that? Masseuse 3? Uh oh. The masseuse is in the house. Look at that. It's a super e-cigarette with a USB charging cord and everything. Oh. Golly. Lots of, uh, lots of charger cords. Old school though. I think I saw a date on one of them uh, cigar boxes that said 98. I don't know. I feel like the uh, e-cigarettes weren't quite around in 98. I think I was sipping happening in 98. I think I would have known about it. Golly. But then I can't find any iPhone charger cords. Oh, you know what? Why well, you never find any working iPhone charger cords? Because iPhone charger cords never work. I've never had to replace a cord so much. Oh, watch yourself. Okay. See what's in here. What we got? What we got? Oh, yeah. Cinesex. FIFO travel home charger. Alrighty. Bunch of chargers. We'll just grab that box. Let's get, the, get the trash out. There's some uh, tobacco. Them dudes been cutting open them cigars, them sweets. Been rolling them a big old fatty. Big old uh, baseball bat. Oh. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, it looks like we got the mail enhancement stuff down here. Let's see. That's all empty. Maximum XXL. Hard plus control. <laughs> okay, lots of tobacco. All right, y'all, I think we got... Oh, there's another box. Let's see what's in this box. Oh. Oh. Charger cords. Oh. Mardi Gras going extra. Oh, don't look there. And edit that out. Extends. Dude, this thing's full of DVDs. Alright. Grab that box. Oh, DVDs. Back, there's more chargers. Back before the internet ruined everything and allowed idiots like me 
to post videos on here. Oh, there's more. There's more. Okay. more here golly man charger cords old school charger cords lots and lots of them right. sweet y'all that's some pretty dirty movies and our cigar box i got those other cigar boxes set over there to the side Oh, I'm falling in. Dirty bandana, another charger cord. Lots of broken cigar boxes. Alright. Let's get out of here. <sighs> Got a lot of dirty movies. And some Tejano. Alright. Come here, ladies. Have a seat up front. Right. Holy crap, y'all. I don't know if we found anything good or just a bunch of junk. Definitely got some scrap in there though. If I can't sell them cords put them in the garage sale which I do plan on having one pretty soon now that things are kind of opening back up but we'll see we shall see All right. dude lots of dirty DVDs that's funny alright yeah nothing really too special though Ryko pouch. Who knows? Those headphones? Yeah, those are he earbuds. Right. Here, let's stick something heavy on top. Oh. Oh, Here. We'll stick our motor. Bike pumping. On top of this one, I just hope it all don't blow out. It blows out. Some uh, right, my, my boxes. I hit those. All righty, guys. What y'all say? Let's get it. Look at that most beautiful sunset. Gotta love Texas in the springtime. Beautiful sunsets. <laughs> all right, all right, what we got up in here, y'all? Hold up, I see a box. Cord. Oh. Dude, that is heck. Oh, that's a, that's a backup. The power bank is what it's called. Dude, that's heavy. Look at that. There goes the TV in the box. <laughs> uh oh. Man, I feel like I just hit the lottery. Dude. I'm ain't lying. I wonder if that's this. No, that's got to be the old TV. That's probably the stand for the new TV. Which probably is no good to me, uh, but I still got a little metal in it for a little scrap. It's good. 
a little lighter. Still light. Never know when you might need a light. Come and take it, baby. Oh, Bucky's. All right, for all y'all non-Texans and what have you, y'all ever make y'all's way on down here to the uh, to Texas? You gotta stop at Bucky's. I don't know if any of y'all remember Stucky's. I think Stucky's is still around, actually. But Bucky's is like Stucky's. Oh crap! Oh, there's some water. Oh, I hope that's not all. It's like coax and such. Looks like it. Mostly. But, but yes, the Bucky's. And it's not the Bucky's with uh with the Y. I think it's with the two E's. That's a nice mug though. It's gonna be stainless. It's got the lid. Yukon. Yukon's like the uh competitor to uh the other one. Not igloo, but uh Yeti. Oh, there's some wires. There's a little copper in there. Uh, that looks like it. Whew. Back there. Look at all that, man. We got some wires. A Panamax. It's a little uh, back up, back rack, rack back. And a TV. Man, and it's. We'll leave it in the box, plug her in. Man, that would be so cool if that worked. Because that thing is way bigger than uh, my bedroom TV. Alright, Mike the Scavenger back again. Uh, looks like uh, it's cracked, y'all. They cracked the screen. Looks like somebody might have thrown something at it. Uh, and there's probably absolutely nothing wrong with it other than somebody probably we are my witness this happened here at the dumpster this was not me being rough and insensitive with uh tvs total bummer bro all right got another one does it have stuff it sure does not. Oh. Ooh, what we got up in here? Look at that. More wires and cables and such. I mean, you won't hear Mike the Scavenger complaining about that. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. We got mustard. We've got cheese. Y'all want to make a sandwich real quick? That thing's full of wires. It's a stuff. Did I just find somebody's little kitchen? That's good. You garage sell that. What is this? Oh, that's like a little display. Like a little... Huh. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, we got over here. I see a microphone, a really old alarm radio. There's another iRobot. There's a rock that plugs into the wall. A light bulb. Get the light bulb. Huh. We'll go through all this. I think the dumpster gods are with us tonight, y'all. <sighs> eh, garage sale. But yeah, they were like not in the best of shape. Just throw in the free bucket. Free bucket. That is a thing. The free bucket. And put it close to the curb. People rolling by. Ooh, damn. That's like kitchen grade commercial stuff. Nice. Hold on. 
careful, y'all. We've got knives. That's a nice knife right there. There's more, too. Woo, I'm glad I saw them before. God, could y'all imagine if I just, like, dove in or... That could have been the end of Mike the Scavenger. Oh, scissors. Kiwi brand. I'll have to look that up. Ah, it says made in Thailand. Ah, nothing against Thailand. All right. Look at that, though. Little metal pin. We use those at the steakhouse. Little hot pan or put some cold stuff in it on ice. Take the strainer. I'm just gonna, I don't know what, what that's all about. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it. There's a lot of plastic in here, but I think I'm gonna pass on that. There's a knife sharpener. A dagger. No, it's a knife sharpener. Oh yeah. A lot of plastic. A lot, a lot of plastic. Okay. 50 cents for that, probably. Alright. What's in here? What is that? Wireless network. Oh, okay. It just keeps coming. There's a. Uh, a little orange and chicken sauce. We got a little oyster sauce. We'll just put that over there. Some big old mugs. Put those in. Take those. I don't know what that is, but worst case scenario, a little scrap. Yeah, a lot of it looks like somebody cleaned out like a small kitchen or something. That's nuts. Two more knives, old oil. Not supposed to be throwing that in these dumpsters. Yeah, some spices. Some more cups, little Asian cups here. Man, don't shoot me for not taking all this plastic, y'all. There is a lot. Okay, this looks like it all goes to that, that thing over there. Tell you what, we'll keep these together. Those obviously do go together. I don't know if that goes with it. That looks like an egg slicer. Alright. A lot of little buckets, seasoning, spices, old jars. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of plastic in there. Whew. Holy cow. I'd take more if I could, y'all, but I gotta be a little selective these days. <laughs> Until I have a garage sale. Yeah! All about all bright scavengers, you know, successful evening getting some stuff. Definitely got some stuff. We're gonna go through these boxes and check them out. Looks like mostly cords or some some DVDs. I haven't even gone through them yet, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what's up. Ah, uh, see, uh, see. Yeah, the kitchen stuff. Here's our knives. That's a uh, really good reminder about jumping into dumpsters, right there, y'all. Do look where you're landing. Kiwi bread. Yeah, definitely spot your landing when you're jumping in dumpsters, as y'all can see. These could have ruined a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see. So we got a box over here. A little bit of cat wire. What is this? Yep. Oh, that's a. Uh, a is there a thing? Mm -hmm. I don't. The uh, the router box broadband. I don't know if this has a hard drive in it or not. Hmm. Let's see, and then this guy right here, super heavy. I think this is a battery Panamax. Banks it says wiring fault. I think this is full of batteries. It's very, very, very heavy. 
Yeah, this has got to be a battery back there. So I'm willing to bet there's some batteries in here, but this is definitely something built for a rat. Goes in, it's got the, uh, got the brackets on it. Ugh. Computer guy, definitely take that. Let's see, audio authority. It looks like it's, I don't know. I don't know. What we got here, y'all? Old AT&T phones. Wireless phones. Cords, wires and such. Grab the scrap. More kitchen stuff. <sighs> a lot of kitchen garage sale stuff. Let's see wires. That just looks like yep. Old telephone stuff, plug stuff, telephone wires. Is a power cord. More charging cords. Gosh, I have more charging cords than you can shake a stick at. After last night, that's for sure. All right, all right, so we got that. Let's see, this is also this. We found that in the same dumpster, but yeah, this is one of the kitchen stuff. Let's see the cups over here. Oh yeah, that's the Roomba. Wires and such. What the heck is that? I'm not sure what that is. Zaris Sharp Personal Mobile Tool That's a little old school, huh? That's like before the uh, Blackberry, maybe? SL-5000 It's got a lithium battery in it That thing's not even wanting to come out Huh! I ain't never seen that before We got a powerhouse this is some sort of alarm system. Cord, there's the rock that lights up. That's garage cell. All right. Yeah, there's the microphone. That's what that thing is. Old busted microphone. Man, that's a good looking microphone too. Old busted up. Strange things. Strange things are happening. A little pump. A little ball pump. Zyre palm. Wait, lots of old stuff. I mean, look at this guy. Old GE alarm clock. From the old school, y'all. The old school. Got a little bit of sorting to do there. See over here, new wires, little scrap, there's a little strainer. Garage sale trash. Alright, alright, so yeah, we got a few things out of there garage sale wise. Definitely did hit a lick with some knives. We'll bring a couple of these down to the coast for my pops, using for cutting up fish, what have you. A couple of those definitely be used for that, but not all. I do like these knives though, I like that. I like that. Uh, all right, here we go. On to the dumpster, which I can only say is maybe some like, it was like maybe we uh, had to have been like a little gas station, cell phone type place or something, but it's all super old. Sony Ericsson. Let's see here. Let's see if we come across anything interesting. Other than, let me get a uh, thing to throw all those in. Alright. All right. We are going to get a bin. And we are just going to start throwing all these cell phone cords in here. We'll go through them. I'm probably just going to scrap them all out. They are so freaking old. I don't know. Maybe put a quarter on with the I mean, just... I wouldn't trust that. They look like they've been... Sitting. But yeah, that's all charging cords. There's a, a case, a pouch. Let's see, cords. All these cords. Lots and lots of charging cords. Ugh. Oh, 
almost. Let's see, there is a uh, a cell phone accessory. Nokia Samsung. It's a holster. These are those uh the charger, car charger. I don't know. I mean that looks nice. Grab it. Vehicle lighter adapter. <laughs> yeah, and that's a more common charger cord right there. No iPhone chargers, but oh, we did find a couple. But the ones that were they were like uh, old school. Uh, yeah, old school. Like this one right here. That's for I old iPhone. Old Apple devices. All right. Digging deeper, digging deeper. Right. Golly, you guys. This is absolutely... This is bananas. Okay, that just looks like all chargers, cellular car chargers, adapters, cigarette things. So yeah, the nicer ones, this kind of stuff, I might hang on to, throw in the garage sale. People, you know, I mean, yeah, believe it or not, there's a, some headphones. There's a, still a demand, well not demand, but people still use those older phones, but there is a demand for like a, you remember a while back I had those flip phones I found in the dumpster with all the uh, the cell phones, and a, a guy was, uh, he was real, like we, th we threw some up online, and the guy was super excited. He just wanted the flip phones. We are like, what are you doing with these flip phones, bro? And he said that uh, older people that uh, don't really care to get smartphones or whatever, you know, they know how to use the flip phones and, the, and they, they'd rather just use those than, uh, I guess, learning. Or, uh, you know, he said he did have one person that uh, she had had a stroke. Ooh, that's an iPhone charger. That's a newer iPhone charger, too. Holla! Let's see if it works. Uh, she had had a stroke, and then she was uh, paralyzed in one arm, and then she preferred the the phone that way. Okay, okay. So I did get an iPhone charger. Yeah, this is looks like more chargers. Nothing real too exciting down here. But yeah, we're gonna go through all this. I'm guessing the nicer stuff I'll keep, and then the stuff that's not so nice, you know, scrap it out or whatever. Yeah, here's more. All right, we got some movies. The Love Guru, The Masseuse, Beach Bum Fights, Victim of Love. Okay, these are all. Does. Yeah, that's an old, old iPhone charger. I think that's what that is. Let's see. And another charger. Yep. Cinesex. Oh yeah, and there's the uh, strawberry daiquiri. 700 puffs. Luxury lights. Electronic hookah. Got it here. Definitely brought home some trash with us. This go around. That's all right. Oh, there's another Santa Thick. Santa Thick. Some, some earbuds. Premium wireless accessories. That's not wireless. Yeah, most of this is. I'm going through all this. Let's see if there's anything other than cords in here, but it looks like it's just predominantly charger cords. Lots and lots of freaking charger cords. Okay, uh, set this over here. What? Oh, just some kids playing. Thought someone was getting murdered. There's another uh, cigar box goes my other cigar boxes. Wait a minute. Yeah, these are iPhone chargers. Well, that's an iPhone charger. So there is some newer stuff in here. Let's see what this is.
Okay. Got some extends. Hey, those are six bucks, man. Fast acting male enhancement. And then some cords. These are all, these are Apple cords. They all look open. I wonder if they're all, I don't know. We're gonna try them out. Golly, that would be so cool. Cause I was talking so much smack about how you never find a iPhone chargers in the dumpsters. Cause iPhone chargers suck for some reason. But yeah, got some in here. Ooh, I see some shades, man. Oh. Uh, yeah, lots of cords. Lots of jeez, jeez. Okay. All right, moving along because I think that's all that we got there. Uh, let's see, what we got here Mardi Gras going triple extra. Okay. Oh yeah, my Tejano. Let's see, there's a bag full of DVDs here. All right, beach bum fights. More beach bum fights. Let's see, the other side of being a gangster. Midget Molly. Huh? Once featured on BET American Gangster. The other side of being a gangster. Yeah, we all know that's no good. DJ Fantasy presents Hip Hop version 24. See some Fat Joe. Nas and Chris Brown. Yeah, this is all bootleg, bro. This is bootleg at its finest. That's a good movie. The Wrestler. I remember that one bootleg I mean they're wrapped up they're new but you they're, you can just you can tell they're bootleg this one maybe not <laughs> Mr. B uh, let's see get smart full screen edition let's see the happening oh with Mark Wahlberg that was a creepy movie the edge of love yeah these are all new but I'm thinking we got here y'all Felony fights, felony fights, special guest, the felony girls. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously? Streets of New York, a rise and fall of crime in New York since 1970. Huh, that may be interesting. And we can't, yeah, can't go anywhere without, uh, go Diego, go. Let's see, we got here, crack. Crack Volume 6. Crack. <laughs> Ace Hood. Manio. Crack. What is that? Is that Smack? We have Crack and Smack. Streets, music, arts, culture, and knowledge. Smack. Crack and Smack. There's Luda. Interesting. David Banner. Ludacris. We've got Lil Flip. Flousing at its finest. Oh, that H-Town rap. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got Ultimate Chick Fights. Ultimate Chick Fights. Uh, let's see. DJ Fantasy Presents. going be Hip Hop. Mix source videos. Destiny's Child, Chris Brown, MIA. It all bootleg. What we got here? Crackheads gone wild. Crackheads, huh? Fighters, rappers, smokers, idiots. Crackheads gone wild. New York Volume 2. The Subway Series. Guys, seriously? Let's see what else we got up in here. Is that a Fitbit? Nope, it's a power balance. No Fitbit. There's a bunch of cords. I'd be curious to see if those worked. But judging by everything in here, look at 
at that. That's full of sunglasses. Oh, they're broken. I wonder if these are all like break it, breakage and returns and that's what this has got to be. Just, just crap. Just total crap. Crap you see at the gas station. Although I might see if I can get some something going here. Those may work. Those may be okay. Yeah, I don't ever pay for sunglasses. I either find them in the river or I find them digging in the trash. Let's see. Instrumental hits three. Anything good? Born Stunner. Gosh, gonna have to fire up the old radio and get the CD player out. Jam some old CDs. H Town. Mixtape. Screw tapes. More chargers. Yeah, it looks like just we have a ton of chargers in here. That seems to be it for the uh, the movies though. So. Yeah, I'll go through those glasses, see if I can find some that are decent, decent enough to wear at least. Expired 2013. I mean, not like it really works anyway. I mean, I've never tried it, but I mean, come on, y'all. That's all gimmicky crap. Okay, it looks like we've kind of went through everything here. Um, you know, not too hot a night for the scrap. Y'all may be noticing how I do not have that big TV back there. Well, I went back to go get it, and I was able to get the little stuff that I got out, and I was about to grab the TV. This dude rolled up, and he didn't say nothing to me. I think he was like coming to the office next door or whatever but he just kept staring at me and just, it was awkward so I left but good thing we found out the TV was smashed I mean it's still a bummer but hey it is what it is but uh alright guys well hey that is gonna do it for this episode of Dumpster Diving as always it was a total pleasure appreciate y'all tagging along uh, be sure to like the video subscribe to my channel uh, share with your friends Instagram Got one, go check it out. I'm almost to 3,000 is it followers on Instagram. Yeah, almost 3,000 Instagram followers. One of these days I'll figure out Instagram. <laughs> I don't get it though. Uh, let's see. Special shout out to everybody who bought some merch. Appreciate that, guys. Uh, if y'all are interested, down below. Got a link. Uh, Teespring. Got uh, all kinds of t shirts and stickers and kiddo stuff. You know, go check it out. Go have a ball. Um, alrighty, guys. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be heading down to the beach here in a day or two. The uh, red snapper season opens on Monday. It's supposed to be laid down pretty nice. So I think me and the old man are going to sneak out for a day. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll have put together a little video of doing some uh, some deep sea fishing for y'all. But, uh, yeah, and it's, you know, Monday. Try to get back at it as soon as I can. Uh, you know, Mike's got to have a little R&R &R here and there, too. But, uh... Alrighty guys, well, y'all take care. Have a lovely day, night, morning, whatever time it is in your part of the world. Uh, spaceship. They launched the spaceship today and they didn't they didn't invite me. I'm kinda 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 hurt, but anyways. Alrighty guys, y'all take care. Be safe, wash those hands. What we got here, y'all? Scrappy, scrap, scrap!